Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller signed a letter to the Food and Drug Administration yesterday asking that it place stricter re regulations on the advertising and sale of electronic cigarettes. The initiative aims to deter teens from using e-cigarettes and comes only a few weeks after the Center for Disease Control released a study showing one in ten high school students tried an e-cigarette in the last year. E-cigarettes are not regulated the same way traditional tobacco is, with no age requirement to purchase them and no restrictions on advertising. Martinsville residents are calling for pedestrian safety measures at a State Road 37 intersection near the high school. A 28-year-old man was trying to cross the four-lane highway when he was struck by a car. Martinsville mayor says the city has lodged complaints with the state and has asked for a crosswalk or pedestrian bridge. An Indiana Department of Transportation spokesman says his department is in frequent discussions with the people in Martinsville. NDOT is planning for I-69 and what it will be able to accommodate when it replaces Highway 37. And sports medicine and mental health professionals say student athletes have unique stressors that leave them at risk for mental health issues. Yet seeking help for those concerns still carries a powerful stigma in the athletic community. Guidelines developed by a task force led by the National Athletic Trainers Association outline ways athletic trainers, team physicians, coaches, and teammates can recognize the signs of psychological concerns and refer those dealings with mental health issues to the right resources. And here's a look at the weather. Tomorrow will be sunny and 80 degrees as the high, 53 degrees as the low. Here's a look at the five-day forecast. A 30% chance of thunderstorms on Saturday, 81 degrees as the high, 73 degrees on Sunday with a 50% chance of thunderstorms with lows in the lower 50s. Monday and Tuesday will be mostly clear with highs in the mid-70s, lows in the lower 50s. For more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org. I'm Alex Steerkman.